All right, I have been messing with this can checked system. Got an animation screen on that thing for the boot up. This thing off the shelf is super awesome and I haven't even really done very much to it, but added some logos, try to figure out some ways to mess with this thing. Of course, put some Bimworld love on there, but all kinds of stuff that you can do to configure this display however you want it. Working on can checked install now. We got a few interior pieces out of here. You've got to remove this side panel here, this kick panel down there, which we got here. Fortunately, these things pop out, use a little plastic pry tool and get it up out of the way. Remove this little kick panel. Uh, yeah, just some little quarter turn pieces there to get the panel under the dash. And you can see one of the big things you've got to move would be the big massive screen. So fortunately that thing is not too difficult to get out. You've got a couple of screws, one on the back there, one that goes to there, and then a couple underneath over at the above the steering column. Recommended to have two people for this process to pop it out just to keep that thing safe and then you just pop it up, leave it connected, and set it up on the dash. And that, and that will then give you access to this area right here for this panel. You can't get this little trim panel out because obviously we're placing the vent over here with the hand check gauge. You can't get that out until you get the screen out of the way. So what are the next steps? We got some stuff out of the way, and by the way, the purpose of getting this kick panel out of the way is so you can gain access for power and ground as well as getting the can high low reading because this gauge gets all of its data off of the can system. So pretty nice little system that is super non-intrusive. You do have to undo, oh, rock blocking the light. You do have to undo that black plug and depin a couple of wires and then put the provided wires from can checked in place and then you've got this little dual, eh, there's the focus. You got this little dual fuse block system that will then plug in for giving you power. And then you grab ground. The ground is behind this box with just a typical BMW ring terminal that you get that baby grounded. So four connections, power, ground, can high, can low. And the way you route it, also part of getting this big screen out of the way, is the cable routes through here, you fish it down, and it drops down back there behind the dash, runs over here. And I'll tell you, Rich has been very impressed with the instructions for this whole package. So the instructions included are very well put together and go through all of these steps, but just wanted to give you a little visual while we're in here of what you may run into. So next we need to prep the vent that we took out for the gauge to actually go in. Rich has robbed my pieces. He's messing with them. I don't know what he's doing. That's how it's kind of configured stock. So I got a new vent and a vent we've already modified. So you do have to pop that out of place. And then this is what ends up needing to get removed to allow this to go in place properly. And you can see on the new one, it's these little marks right here that you just need to dremel out so that you can properly remove this section from this whole assembly. CanCheck does also offer this system with the gauge pre-installed in case you don't feel like dealing with having to dremel out those little plastic welds, but super simple, a little bit more cost effective if you want to get it without the gauge. But if you want to return your car back to stock fully at some point, then maybe getting that option with the vent pre-installed is the way to go. Now I think it's time to start the reassembly process and get this gauge installed in the vent, get the vent installed in the car, hook the wires up and see what we got on all the features that this thing has. I'm excited to play with this thing. It's super configurable. So we'll go through that process here in just a minute. The wiring that runs up through here will stay here, tucked along, run along back here behind the vent and then power and data for the gauge. There's also this cable, which is your USB connection for 
how you want to configure it. And that cable is just going to run down, run down here. We'll clean this up, put a little piece of Velcro there and attach it down here and be able to pull some of that out so that we can easily modify, configure however we want to with this gauge system. If you have an earlier car that does not have the massive screen, then you do have to route the wire and cable up over behind some things, but that is gone over in the instructions for this process. All right, what do we got with this thing? Bunch of different engine options. We're gonna select S58 and then select load file. All right, so this is the first time I mess with one of these things. I know it's a touch screen. I don't know. Oh, all right. So we got numerous pages of things. A little performance meter. Cylinder timing and things. Intake temp. Ignition angle. All right. What's that? What's, is that a button? Nope. All right. Fuel level. Is that fuel level? No, that's not fuel level. Logging the fuel parameters. All right, that's kind of rad. Steering angle, gas pedal. So it connects to your laptop via USB cable. We have it routed down back here, right next to the diagnostic port. And then we can wrap it back up and put it back under and keep it tucked away into the dash and keep it all nice, neat, and tidy. All right, I have been messing with this can checked system. Got an animation screen on that thing for the boot up. This thing off the shelf is super awesome, and I haven't even really done very much to it, but added some logos, try to figure out some ways to mess with this thing. Of course, put some Bimworld love on there, but all kinds of stuff that you can do to configure this display however you want it. I'm open up the can check software, click that. It's a Gen 2, so you're going to go there, hit connection, select your port. Now we are in business. I'm going to go through a load page of all the screens to get everything loaded into the system. All right, so now you have all of your pages set here. You can configure pretty much anything you want to. All kinds of options. You've got a performance meter. Obviously, I added some little Bimworld logos in here, which to do that is real simple. Just go to the upload section and Got some information on how you need to uh, resize the, the photos for your upload. Just choose file, upload them. Go back to the page. You can go here. There was a can checked image here. And then now you can select any of these options for the image. I've got a few different size BW images right here that you can load in through the icon. We'll go back to the logo that I had. And then you can also configure where do you want it on the screen. Say I want it way left. I can change the X coordinate. Now it's all the way over there. I'm going to go back to center, 120. And then once you're happy with wherever it is, just click export to display. It'll shoot it over to, to the display. And then also you can start to configure all kinds of stuff like over in here. This is currently set up, and these are actually all from the factory, from can checked, loaded in, ready to go. So you don't have to set all these up. It has a super awesome setup to start with. But then, if you want to play with it, this is currently intake temp. But I could change it to any of these options off the can. So many different options to choose from. Super, super impressive with all the capabilities this thing has. Can change the icon over here to a different image if you wanted something else. Got a whole assortment of different icons to choose from around here. Change the color. Do whatever you want. I mean, this, this thing is just wildly configurable. Crazy impressive. And then can change, you know, so for this, it's intake temp. And can change your, oh, let me go to the intake temp one. <laughs> Not the icon can change your values for what shows high or low. You know, it actually, this is actually inverse at the moment due to how the screen is configured, but 160 Fahrenheit high for, uh, 160 Fahrenheit, 160 Fahrenheit high for 
intake temp, 70 for low. So, you know, if it's over here, it's going to start showing red. Steering angle, speed, throttle position, brake pressure. You can change your settings for units. If you want it to be PSI or bar, Fahrenheit or Celsius, mile per hour, kilometer an hour, AFR or Lambda. So that was some of the configuration process. Now let's see what some of this looks like actually in action. Made a little boot up screen. Got to give some Bimworld love. Added some Bimworld logos all in here. You can touch screen, super responsive. And also, if you want to log this stuff, you got a log button. Get that better in focus. And then you can also read and clear all of your scan codes. I mean, this thing is wildly powerful. I'm super, super impressed with it. You know, what do we got? Start it up. Man, this thing's awesome. I'm excited to get to using this, log some data on it when we're at the track next week, and just overall think this is a pretty awesome addition. You know, one of the things I love about this is just how clean of an install that is. This is just a super, super nice piece. Really fits the car, fits the technology of the car. I actually got these for some other cars as well. They have some plug and play vents for some other applications. And also this thing can do other features like you can add on external sensors and gain some additional inputs if you want to. So for what this is, that little tiny box, it is wildly powerful. So what else to hit on that thing? If you have any questions on the install process or any of the configuration, don't hesitate to reach out to us. There's also a lot of support for these things out in the wild, but we are also here to help guide you along the path for using one of these and setting it up in your car. You ready to go? Should be an awesome race weekend. We are ready to kill it this year. It's gonna be a wild ride.